Hey guys, we are here at the Savannah community in Summerlin and we're going to check out the model of Taylor Morris and Sunflower and this is 2,359 square feet. Let's take a look. But this is the exterior of the home. It's a single family home, single story family home. So let's take a look. All right, so we're here at Sunflower by Taylor Morrison, 2,359 square feet, three car garage. All right, let's take a look what's in here. I'll definitely change this color to orange. That's just me. I'm seeing a really nice tall ceiling here. Look at the ceiling, it's pretty tall. I think this is 10 feet or so. But right on the side, immediately on the right side of the house is this mini office area which i will definitely put a door for privacy and if i do my conversations and look at this of course on the right side of the home is immediately a good sized bedroom but take a look at this arc design of the window Sometimes you, you don't see that often in some of the model homes already, but really appreciate that art design of the window there. It's true, you have to grow and bloom. That's the word the words for today, grow and bloom. Let's check out, check out this full bathroom here. Look at this. Really nice counter and they definitely upgraded this um tile design there it's it's a beautiful tile design and there's another bedroom here a really good size bedroom not big but not small just enough to be able to have for your guests with your mini closet there all right so we're now gonna go on the left side of this area, I believe this might be a linen closet. Yes, it is. Look at that. And definitely nice tile, guys. If I have to choose a tile, it will be like this. Because it's so very bright and at the same time, it is very, very modern. I like modern design. Hi, guys. So yeah, that is going to be my tile in the future. If I have to build my own house here in Las Vegas. All right, look at this open area here. And we're gonna check out the backyard in a little while, but I wanted to appreciate the staging that they did here, right? Very open. And yeah, lots of windows. I just think I needed to replace all of the bulb because it looks darker. I would choose like really, really nice LED bulbs. And you have your mini bar area here. And yeah, let's take a look at what's on this side. There is, is this a huge pantry area. It's almost like a closet. And you have your laundry area, which I believe that one might be the owner's closet, which is a really nice open floor plan, guys. We can't go to the garage, it's close. But again, when you build a house, I would definitely suggest that the owner's closet has access to the laundry. That will make your life much easier because if you're a very busy person, you will definitely have to have efficiency in the layout of the house. And look at this design, very unique guys. Kitchen sink, definitely choose a wider uh, sink, air, sink area. I would do definitely double, you know, like larger than that. But this is a pretty nice open area here. Let me spend one more time here so you can appreciate the openness i would choose a really lighter color than this flooring that's just me i like lighter color uh, floor so that it makes a lot more brighter 
we're not yet outside guys but as you can see you can already see the strip there and let's take a look at the master here it is huge it's a huge space and I like that you have access. Oh, you don't have access to the back here, but you can see the back here. Now, if I have to do this, I will have to put like a, a door here so that I can access the back here immediately upon waking up. Right? That's very important to me that you can access the backyard from your owner's bath, uh, bedroom. All right. This is dual vanity sink. Appreciated that. No fight between husbands and wives. And then freestanding bathtub. This is a really huge bathroom because you also have the space here, right? And then this um, shower is not too big, but at the same time, I think two or three people would fit in, in here easily. Now, the only concern that I have is look at this window here. You have to have, a, what do you call this? Like a a blind there or a glass that you, that they can't see you inside there are technologies nowadays where you can put the uh, the glass that they can't see you inside when you, so you have to have that kind of thing if you want privacy all right so this is a pretty large closet as I mentioned a while ago, it has access to the laundry area, which is really appreciated. Now, if you're buying this kind of home, you probably have a budget for a nice closet cabinet tree. So definitely upgrade that and put some LED lighting for your cabinets, right? Because if you can buy this type of home, you, you can actually also upgrade into nice cabinet tree. Why not, right? So that's the owner's bedroom area. All right, we're gonna get, go now to the backyard so that we can appreciate the view again and of this trip. Again, this is probably a good size backyard for a mini pool. I will definitely put a pool here so that in the evening, you can appreciate this view. That's the view of the Las Vegas, guys. Las Vegas Strip. Definitely nice view in the evening. You know, it doesn't justify here on the video because we're on the video, but if you look if you go here in person, you can definitely see the strip. But again, we're on a video here, so it's hard to see from yours, from your end. But um, but in person, you can definitely see the strip view very, very near. There is a lot of grass area here. Uh, I would definitely utilize a pool for this size of a backyard. See, they have their flowery here, flower set up. This is your side yard there. Right? So they made this built in here, but I will definitely put a pool because I like a swimming pool. All right, let's go back to. the main living room hey guys i hope you enjoyed this video tour of the savannah community here and really appreciate if you can subscribe down below like this video and comment down below what you think of this model home what part of this model home or design do you like the most would really get your would really appreciate if I can get your feedback and don't forget to check out the other model home tours on my channel there's a lot there and you can pick up some of the designs there once you build your own home in the future or if you're renovating there's a lot of design there on the model home tour so please check out the other videos of this channel on the channel page page until next time 
have agreed in the meeting day. 